Yes, good morning. My name is David Rogers, D-A-V-I-D-R-O-G-E-R-S. I am the executive director of the VetNet, and I'm also the director of the Illinois Veterans Peer Support Project. And I am, first of all, let me just highlight and underscore what uh, the speakers before me have said. As the director of the VetNet and the Illinois Peer Support Project, we're in the front lines in reaching out and creating a network that will provide information and direct support and services to our veterans that cannot or have been precluded from receiving VA services, which there are a whole lot of us. As a veteran of the Vietnam War, living with PTSD, I spent many years bouncing around mental health wards because I could not get the information and the support that I needed. Many of our veterans are living under those bridges. Many of those men and women you see standing with cups at one time had a very important purpose. And they were of service to this country. And because they cannot, receive the services that they uh, need, we are losing some of the most highly trained and valuable assets that this country has. We as a grateful nation are obligated to support the warrior when they return home. The warrior fights for those rights and those privileges that sometimes that we just take for granted. And we pay for these services with truly blood, sweat, and tears. And a grateful nation needs to utilize every tool, every means of outreach, and every means of communication it can to convey truly that welcome home experience. As been said, there are a host of agencies and resources that we as veterans, when we come home and just want to re connect with the American dream and try and get away from the screams that so often are omnipresent in our minds, we just don't know how. And with this uh, station, with this means of communication, and most importantly to educate and engage the veteran when we are in those points of isolation where the two might just be the only friend we got, the only way that we have to receive information. Sometimes when we come home, we just lock ourselves away. And it's also important through this medium to be able to educate the uh, families of our veterans. I had the slightest idea of what PTSD was when I came home. Most veterans don't, most certainly our fa families don't. And working with the Veterans Court and the Veterans Reintegration Program, we find again that the word was used, Mr. Klein, I believe, we're just ignorant. We don't know. And so it is the responsibility of the VA, which is totally overwhelmed. Uh, we got a million cases of claims uh, in backlog, but yet and still our veterans can receive services from many of the private agencies and the private resources that have been put into play. And we realize that if a veteran doesn't receive treatment for PTSD and other service-connected disabilities, within a certain period of time they become chronic which leads to this high suicide rate, which leads to the high uh, incarceration of veterans, which leads to the societal problems that eventually become a part of the breakdown of the society. It is imperative that we support the warriors. It's imperative that we educate the warriors. And by this means of being able to bring these different pocket organizations together, to be able to get the message out that there are services and support available on a regular and consistent basis to have, uh, shall we say, this oasis, this beam, this light that the veterans and their families could gravitate to this will literally save lives. It will save families and it will be able to help us engage the veterans where they are at and where it is needed. And your support in this cause, I can only thank you in advance. Thank you much.